Okay, hi, good afternoon, You Can Heal family. My name is Sheena, we're reading our Jesus Calling devotional today, and we're on September 17th, You Will Not Find My Peace. By engaging in excessive planning, attempting to control what will happen to you in the future. Wait a minute, you will not find my peace by engaging in excessive planning, attempting to control what will happen in the future. That is a common, commonly practiced form of unbelief. When your mind spins with multiple plans, peace may sometimes seem to be within your grasp, yet it always eludes you. Just when you think you have prepared for all possibilities, something unexpected pops up and throws things into confusion. I did not design the human mind to figure out the future. That is beyond your capability. I crafted your mind for continual communication with me. I like that. Let's keep our mind stayed on the Lord. Bring me all your needs, your hopes and fears. Commit everything into my care. Turn from the path of planning to the path of peace. And our first scripture today is 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6 and 7. It says, So humble yourselves under the mighty power of God, and in good time he will honor you. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about what happens to you. So if you've got things you're worried about or concerned about, listen. Lay it at the altar. Give it to God. He cares more than you think about you. He cares about every part of your life. And let him handle the things that you leave at the altar. Amen. The next scripture is Proverbs 16, 9. So let's turn there. Now, guys, I was debating whether I was going to say anything. So let me keep reading and then I'll decide something I wanted to address, but we'll see. We'll see. Proverbs 16, 9. We can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. That's right. Have a good plan, but be open every day. God, just keep leading me in the right direction and showing me what I need to do next. So that was Proverbs 16, 9. And the last one is Psalm 37, 5. Psalm 37, 5. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. So yeah, commit everything to the Lord. Trust him and let him help you. Let him guide you. Let him direct you. Let him show you. And um, he, he can be trusted, right? He is so trustworthy. And like we've talked about before, people can let us down. But God is always there. And um, his word is true. His word is sure. And it can be trusted. Now, speaking of that, in my comments, and I, I usually don't have anything happening in my comments that's, you know, out of the ordinary or anything, but there's been a few people, three people, who pointed out to me that Sarah Young, who wrote this Jesus Calling, you know, was not legit, and she's adding words to God. And I have been thinking about this and talking to the Lord about it, and the thing that I, I know is at each of these passages, there are scriptures, and I, I have, to, I don't, I don't, I didn't do any research on it, I didn't want to, but I know that we're reading scriptures, and faith comes by hearing, and hearing the word, and you know, this lady took the time to write these verses down, I'm sure she read these verses, and the Lord was ministering to her, and um, the things I'm reading here, I do find valuable, so I'm going to trust God with it, we're going to keep going. If um, you have your opinions and things like that, that's fine. But here, the main thing is hearing the scriptures and letting the word of God get in our spirit and our heart. And that's what we're doing here, not trying to cause any issues and things like that. So if you choose not to read the Jesus Calling or listen to it, then just don't click off the video. You know, you don't have to let me know. If you have a conviction about something, that's fine and you have the right to that. But we're going to continue hearing, uh, reading these scriptures and um, reading these devotions together, okay? So that's where we are with that. Like I said, you know, let's let the Lord um, do what he's going to do and use people and use the word of God to help people. And these scriptures are the word of God that I read after each devotion. So I thank God for that. All right. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Always remember that true healing begins with self-love. Why? Because God is love and he lives on the inside of you. We'll talk soon. As you guys heard this morning in the Bible reading, I'm at my daughter's house and my grandson is inside sleeping. And 
Um, they're gonna go out on a date and I just can't wait to <laughs> love up on him. So I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I love you guys, we'll be back tomorrow, bye.